So now let's see how we can work around and organize documents by creating a new document, by saving documents, and by opening up uh, the documents. So here you can see that I have a blank document. And if I were to go over here and type in, let's say, for example, title, and then arrange this out, maybe bold this out right here, and say this is a sentence, what I have is a document. So I'm just going to go around and copy paste this around just like this. And there you go. I got some content for my document. So now what I may want to do is I may want to save this out uh, so that I can access the document later on. So to do that, I can go around into file and then I can click on save. And then what I can do is I can go around onto my desktop over here. And then over here, you can see that I can go around and choose the file name over here to save the document. So the default format, the file is saved in uh, as is rich text format, RDF. So I'm going to go around over here and I'm just going to say, let's say, for example, my tutative document, just like this. And I'm going to hit save. I can go around into file. And if I were to click on new, what happens is that now that file is closed out and I have a new document where I can type in and save the information if I want to. But I'm not going to save this file, but what I want to do is open up the previous file. So I'm going to go to file right here and then here you can see that I can access something called recent documents. And if I were to click on this, you can see that I have a dialog box saying, do you want to save the changes to the document? That is, if I want to save this document. I'm going to say, don't save this. And what happens is that the other file is deleted and I have this file just like this. I'm going to go to new file again. And now let's say another way to open up the document if you don't have it in the recent file section is to go to file and click on open. So once I do that, you can navigate around into the desktop as you can see and open it. And that is how you can open up the files. And that is how you can create a new file save the file that you made and then open files inside of WordPad. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.